mean, I 100% I think we should be teaching all of those parts of our history and all of those parts of where we are today as a culture. And um, the idea that we're going to selectively choose the things that we think are um, appropriate, you know, sub subjective to, to a certain politician's ideologies to, it does not sit well with me. And I feel like, you know, um, as you know, I co-founded a nonprofit called Act to Change. And it's an anti-bullying nonprofit for Asian American and Pacific Islander young people. And it was founded, um, well, it was initially started during my time uh, on, the, on President Obama's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Right. And then in 2017, we moved it out of the White House as, and reformed as a national nonprofit. And so much of the work we, we talk about is that education is a way to eradicate hate. Um, when we know each other's stories, when we see each other in people's histories, when we see each other, see each other's art, it's a way of bridging um, bridging gaps. And so to to say we're going to remove a culture, remove you know whether it's a racial culture, an identity culture, that we're going to remove an orientation culture, that we're going to remove these from schools, um, it's 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 going to lead to divisiveness and hatred. And in a way, I think that's exactly what they want. They want to keep our education limited to one story, and it's not the full story. And it's a story that excludes people and marginalizes people and demonizes people. And that's a problem. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I would have to say to that. 